Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Thank you for uh, watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, and following me on the Age of Vision radio show on www.ucy.tv uh, radio show. So I really appreciate it. That's on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Of course, you can follow it on my channel and also on UCY TV on YouTube. You know, uh, many of you, and I've had these uh, people send me comments that voting doesn't matter, but I still believe in voting, if nothing else, for a protest vote. Uh, just to let them know that screw you, like we're not just going to let you run us over. So tonight, I actually sent the DNC this letter after the uh, Oregon and Kentucky vote. And I'm going to read it to you because I was pretty, pretty angry. Let me take off my glasses. May 17, 2016, Democratic National Committee, fax number 202-863-8063. Their phone number is 863-8000, area code 202. This is a message to the people of the DNC who think that we women and people in color, excuse me, I'm going to start that sentence again. This is a message to the people of the DNC who think that we women and people of color will vote for the corporate choice, not the people's choice. I'm writing to the people who think they can rig the voting machines as adeptly as the GOP, and we will continue to support your fascist candidate. Wrong. You know that Bernie Sanders has won Arizona or New York. The people of Nevada are angry because our delegates and votes are being stole, stolen from us now. And now we are expected to vote for the very person who stole our vote. It is an outrage. I will never vote for Clinton. She is as bad, if not worse, than Trump. I have zero trust in her. She uses women and children as election tools. She never saw a war she didn't like. Her rhetoric, and that is what it is, is only rhetoric, not real words. Copied Bernie Sanders when she saw she didn't have a chance in hell. She still does not. She will have to steal it from the GOP after you steal it from your own party members. There are not enough Republicans who will vote for her. Stealing the nomination from Bernie Sanders will only get you Donald Trump. Perhaps what the upper echelon of the DNC really wants is Trump. It is an outrage that before the California primary, we are already bolstering ourselves to accept the fact that the DNC will rig the elections and there will be more irregularities. If this election has shown us anything, it has shown us just how much the fascists are in control. Our country is being destroyed by capitalism and big business. We have cities where people are dying, literally dying and being mutated from radiation and contaminated water, Flint and St. Louis. And the dams in Congress are doing nothing. The people of St. Louis and Missouri saw the DNC steal Bernie's nomination right from under them. The same in Arizona. The same in New York. And now you want us to vote for that thief? Hell no. Remember that phrase? Hell no. We won't go. Hell no. We won't go. Apply that same emotion and sentiment to being forced, coerced, and threatened with you don't want Trump, do you? No more fear-based votes out of me. I will not protect the abuser or the thieves. I firmly believe Trump only
only join the campaign to get Monsanto Clinton elected. Bush would call that another mission accomplished. I hope you are all proud of yourselves for being part of the party. You know, Soviet style, where only the vote for the right candidate counts. Welcome to Soviet America, shamefully. Lonnie Clark, hashtag, burn, feel the burn, 2016, hashtag, feeling burned by the DNC, hashtag, Bernie Sanders for president, 2016, hashtag, ride in Bernie, 2016, Lonnie Clark, and then right before I mailed this, I saw the election flip in Kentucky and I wrote P.S. Kentucky won by Clinton with the flip of a switch crook Let's see the hand wrote it in and faxed it to these bastards now do I think that will do anything more than get me looked at by the fascist pig cops that like the Gestapo who were like threatening all of us you know what I'm not afraid of them. I am not afraid. I am not afraid of them. They're killing our children. If you guys had gone out to Hanford with me, out to the, I thought I was going to the Columbia Generating Station. I had to actually pass through Hanford to go see the Columbia Generating Station. You know, there was a sign out there that you know what it said? It said, Designated Dumping Area. You know, if you see a sign that says designated dumping area, you think you'd see in the background like trucks, tents, a building, something to remediate, anything that would help you think that maybe they were attempting to do something with that dump. You know what we saw? Desert. We saw desert. That's what's out there, desert. It's his designated dumping area. They're dumping it in the desert. You know what they're counting on? Nobody going out there. They're counting on nobody talking about it. They're counting on killing us, and we don't even know it. Just like this bullshit. Just like Monsanto Clinton stealing the nomination because we have electronic voting machines and in Kentucky they can like be in Washington DC and change the ballot votes by up to three percent that that's the reality in our fo in our lives folks and the reality is also that they're killing us they're killing our children they have no regard for human life listen to Libby Halabi's 256, her latest one, I think it's called 256 with Jerry Pollitt about Hanford. They intentionally have dumped nuclear radioactivity out at the Hanford site. And there are no apologies, no compensation, no plans, only plans to save money, save money, save money, save money, don't spend, don't spend, don't spend, don't spend any money, who cares, it's okay, we've already committed the, you know what they're thinking is, they've already committed the crimes against humanity, it's already as bad as it's fucking gonna get, so why fucking bother, let's just save money, who cares how many more kids, all the kids are gonna get fucking sick, who gives a fuck. I don't think those are human beings, or at least I refuse to call them human beings. I think this is the first video where I really feel like crying. And actually, I'm not really, I'm angry. You know what happens when a person gets really angry is they take action. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take smart action. I'm not going to take violent action. Humanity has always relied on violence. Look where it's gotten us. I'm not doing that.
I'm going to be smarter than that. We have a capacity much greater than we accept. And I'm going to accept a possibility of us creating something different. So put your courage feet on, you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for following my uh, radio show. Um, and thanks for following my activism. And thanks for being active, pursuant to me encouraging you, because you know what? It matters. It really matters. My hair. I'm growing my hair out, you guys. <laughs> You know what the Indian says is that your hair is your antenna, so that's what made me decide to grow it out. Although, what the fuck? They had long hair and they all were fucking slaughtered, so I don't know. Oof. Put your gorge feet on, because guess what? I am intent on saving humanity and saving our planet and saving all life on our planet. And our intentions, we can pervade. That's the real reality. Thoughts are things. And just because what we look at right now doesn't seem like we have results, it doesn't mean we can't achieve them. <laughs> Ciao, you guys. From one survivor to another. I mean, I survived a life, a childhood that nobody would believe, but I did. And I still love life. It's really great. So, ciao.